Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a vlog day in the life type video in a long time, so I figured we were overdue for one. I kind of have a lot of fun little crafts, some DIY projects, a Halloween costume for my dog, and just some fun little house decorating that I figured it'd be fun to bring you guys along on. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun video today, and our first matter of business is breakfast, and this is my absolute favorite fall breakfast so let's get in the kitchen and show you guys what I make all right this is it these are the two ingredients I mean you got to make this but still this is it these are Kodiak cakes I'm obsessed with them they're just a little bit healthier than your normal pancake or waffle mix they have more protein and a little bit less carbs so that's great they have lots of different flavors but cinnamon oat is perfect for fall and then I just top it off with this cinnamon bun spread from Trader Joe's this stuff is so good so yeah that's it we're gonna make this give ourselves some fuel and then probably head out for some errands so let's get cooking Now I'm going to just do a little bit of an update on some home decor that I got. I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna go up to my storage room. I know a lot of you guys ask where I store all of my home decor and I'm about to expose myself. You guys are gonna judge me hardcore, but it's fine. I know it's a mess. So let's go up there and get our little project. Dun, dun, dun. So this is our upstairs room. It's probably going to be one of my last makeovers. It's kind of all of our leftover furniture just shoved in a room. But this here is the storage room. Gasp, I know, it's so messy, but uh, I don't even, I can't even find the light switch. But this is kind of where I store everything. It's super unorganized. I feel like I just have a very thin layer on the floor and I need to like actually organize it. Um, what am I even up here for? Oh yeah, I need to find, oh here it is. So this, it's what we are going to be updating. I will take it out of this messy room and show you guys. Also, I need to return that Christmas tree today. So we're going to go take that back to Hobby Lobby and see what we see there as well. But let's get out of this mess. Gives me anxiety. Okay, so this is a tri planter stand, and now that it's kind of becoming colder outside, I want to bring my herbs back inside and just have a pretty place to display them. But I was honestly shocked at how expensive tri planter stands were, especially just like a plain black one was like a hundred plus dollars. So I was able to find this guy on Marshalls, and it was only forty dollars. But I don't love the gold; it just doesn't really go with my style. I honestly like it. It's just like it would look weird in my home. So I just want to make it all black very sleek and modern looking so I figured I would just take these guys out and spray paint them but I don't know if they're like actually attached yep they're attached oh that's cute that's really good for only 40 bucks honestly um, it's kind of in and out of stock usually um, I've seen it on Marshall's and TJ Maxx so I'll link it if it's available I'm not sure if it's still there but that's really pretty, right? For only $40. And then I just figured I could put my little herbs on there. I think I'm going to have to unscrew these and then we are going to spray paint these and then they will dry while we're running errands and all that. And then I'll come back and kind of put it all together. So let's go spray paint. <laughs> Alright, 
So we're gonna let that stuff dry out there and I'm gonna go return that tree back to Hobby Lobby and I need one more little thing of herbs for the planter. So we need to get that. I was thinking maybe we could go check out the faux florals at Michael's down by Hobby Lobby because that's a better Michael's than the one by me. Maybe see if Target has some Christmas stuff. Maybe go to Ross. I don't know. That's very ambitious, all that stuff. So we'll kind of get out there and see what happens. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab the Christmas tree and then let's go shopping. Okay, look at all these pretty stockings. Look at these ones. $17.99 at 40% off. They have them in gray and white. That's very tempting. I feel like one of these little wreaths would be really cute on the back of my bar stools, just getting like three. I have seen a lot of pictures of that on Pinterest. I think it'd be so pretty. Really like this one. 25 bucks is kind of a lot, even with 40% off, especially getting three. Okay, I feel like these are a bit better in price. I think there are some eight bucks with 40% off, which that's not too bad. Up there, I got little snow pieces in them, which is cute. How cute are these? Oh my gosh. It's a whole aisle of them. This is a cute tree collar. Let's see. So 40% off. That's not too bad. Look at all these little Christmas trees. So cute. Okay, so real quick, I just want to show you guys what I picked up at Hobby Lobby. First off, they have a really cute earring section if you guys haven't checked it out, but I found these for $5.99. How cute are those? They're little wooden earrings, which I love. I need new jewelry anyways. I have like barely anything. I wear the same things over and over. So I thought these would be cute and they were really cheap. And then, um, like I showed you guys, I got these for our little bar stools. I'm definitely planning on doing a separate Hobby Lobby Christmas slash Christmas decorate with me video, but I just kind of wanted to show you the little things that I picked up. Um, these were pretty good they were only $7.99 and I like how they have the little pieces of snow in there so cute so I got three of those and then also they said that they wouldn't let me return my Christmas tree she wasn't gonna let me and then I was like oh please it's too small it won't fit in the space and then it turns out that they're actually short on Christmas trees so they figured they'd resell it and they let me return it which was super nice the lady was really nice about it so that was awesome I felt like that was a win because that thing was $190 um, it just was too small for our space and I liked it but I didn't love it and then I found one that I liked better for the same price at Lowe's so I got that one um, and then you guys I got the last two of these garlands how pretty and realistic are those like they're super duper full and they were 50 bucks at 40 percent off i really wanted a big chunky garland on my mantle just to kind of anchor the space and be like a big you know focal point and just be really full and thick which i think that really looks so pretty and i figured that these would be a really pretty base and then i can kind of stick in other stems on top of it so i'm excited about that i bought two of these and then now we have to go to Michael's just because I want to see what kind of faux florals they have there and then I also want to go to Ross because it's right next door. I also want to check out Target because they have all of their Christmas lines with Hearth and Hand and Studio McGee dropping like at the end of the month and I'm doing a video about them but I just kind of want to see if there's anything in store tangible so that I can include that in the video and show that to you guys. So we'll stop by Target and then I also feel like now I need to stop by Walmart because 
All right, so Mike and I are going to be Jasmine and Aladdin for Halloween this year. He has a one wheel, so he wants to make that a magic carpet. If you guys are unfamiliar with a one wheel, it's kind of like an electric skateboard type thing that hovers sort of. So um, he wants to make that the magic carpet and Kona is gonna be Raja, which will be super cute. But listen, I'm not the kind of person who goes all out money wise on costumes. I definitely see like what I can come up with for the absolute cheapest. So, and I don't care if it looks kind of homemade because you know, that's the fun in it. So I ordered what I thought was a sweatshirt, but this is actually just a regular t-shirt. So I was just gonna cut a vest out of this for Mike for Aladdin. And I ordered it online cause it was like a true purple, but the one that they have in store that's a sweatshirt is like kind of more a maroony purple. So I was like, oh, I'll just order this online. And of course now it's a t-shirt and I feel like that's just gonna look really bad and flimsy. So now I gotta go to Walmart and get the actual sweatshirt. And then later in the day, we will make Kona's Raja t-shirt, which I'm super excited about. I'm just gonna do some tiger stripes and we'll see how she likes it. So let's head on over to Michael's and Ross and see what we see. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit let down by this Michael's. I'm pretty sure they are in their transition period where they haven't received their Christmas stock yet and they're still just trying to get rid of their fall items because they recently all went up to 60% off of fall so if you guys want to get some last minute autumn stuff I would definitely go see what Michaels has but I didn't really see any faux stems or florals that really stood out to me everything that I liked I pretty much already had like these dusty blue flowers I had just bought them last week and I love how they just add a really subtle punch of color to some greenery and same thing with these burgundy thistle stems I feel like it's just the right punch of color and they can both be used year-round which is really nice so I didn't have luck with the flowers, but it was kind of fun just to kind of see the little fall decor items that they had on sale. Like I said, everything was 60% off, so these were really good deals. I thought that these would just be some fun little pots or vases just to display some dried florals in or something like that. You can never have too many vases in my opinion, but I also thought that this little leather tray was cute. Not a big fan of the writing that's in the middle, but you know, you could cover that up with something. So they also had a bunch of really realistic looking pumpkins that were 60% off. And I really like the idea of getting these for next year because I honestly hate dealing with rotting pumpkins. Is it just me or do they go bad so quickly? I don't know. I just thought that this might be something that I invest in for next year. So they just had a couple little knickknacks here and there, but I decided to head on over to Ross because I wasn't really seeing anything that was calling my name. So I love checking out the jeans at Ross. It's actually where I got the jeans that I'm wearing in this video. These are the exact same ones and they were on sale for only $13, which is such a steal. Same thing with this super cozy pair of lounge pants for only $8. I thought that these would be so perfect for the holiday season and they were just so soft. I don't know. I feel like Ross is one of those places where you can get some serious scores in the home decor department. It's not always a for sure thing and they aren't as fully stocked as home goods or anything like that but every once in a while I find a gem and they are typically even cheaper than home goods you know you just have to search a little bit harder but um, you know I always find something good in here something that I really like to check out is their lighting section you guys I've seen these lamps there so much lately and I actually have one I got mine last year and they're only $45 and they had a bunch of tri stand planters which I thought was so funny but but they actually could not beat Marshall's price, which I was kind of surprised by. And then my favorite section while I'm here, and I feel like I almost always find something, is their serverware section. And they have some really nice cutting boards and serving trays for next to nothing. These are definitely cheaper than home goods prices. This really pretty tray was only 12 bucks. And there's one at Pottery Barn that looks super similar for $100, which is crazy. They also always have really pretty marble cutting boards with different designs and patterns. And I see a lot of the wood and marble ones that are mixed together, which I love. And I think that the contrast of the cooler marble and the warmer wood just looks really designer and expensive. And these guys are always under $10, which is so crazy. So next, I just decided to check out Target and I was kind of relieved that there was no Christmas decor out yet. So I just kind of perused and had fun 
just seeing what they had out on display and I thought this basket was super pretty with the leather handles it could be cute for putting a tree in or just storing some blankets in next to a sofa or something like that my olive branch loving heart was so happy to see all of these really pretty arrangements in stock I think these look super realistic and I love the pretty texture on the vase these are only 30 bucks and I think that is such a great value they'd be really pretty on a console table a nightstand a dresser or even in a bathroom such a versatile piece for only 30 bucks I feel like I also love these trays. I actually have this in my kitchen. I just have a little olive tree and a lamp and just some cleaner on there. And it's such a cute way to kind of just display some items and just intentionally organize them. It is interesting how each one totally looks different with its own veining and stuff like that. But I love the material of it and I kind of just started playing around. It's so hard for me to walk into a fully stocked Target and not style things. I loved the chunkiness of these beads. I thought that these were actually a really good value as well. I will link everything below that we see here on this little Target shop with me and possibly the Michaels too. Um, but I thought that these would look really pretty styled in this bowl, maybe on a kitchen island, a dresser, or a console table, or even a coffee table. I think they're great for minimalistic decor and would actually look really great on a shelf maybe if you have shelves that you need to style. Just just some really fun designer pieces that we can get for great prices here at Target. I also really love these ferns. I actually have the smaller one and I love moving it around my home as a little accent piece. I love the rustic style pot that it comes in and I feel like the ferns look pretty realistic as well. So they're a great price point and I just think that they're a fun decor piece that's relatively neutral and can be you know used throughout the seasons. I also have this guy which I really like I love how the olive stems kind of curve like a real olive tree does I think that that looks really nice I also thought this little fire log holder would be cute with some rustic logs in here that would kind of just warm up the look of your space if you had a fireplace for the holidays and I also really liked this face I think it's something that it looks like you could get at CV2 with those really clean modern lines and the pretty subtle texture on there which I really like like all right, and when this ficus tree first came out, I wasn't really a fan, but I feel like it's subtly growing on me. I like the pot that it's in. I don't know. Do the leaves look fakey to you guys? Let me know in the comments. They also have the same exact tree in an olive tree version, which is only sold online. But next, I headed on over to the Hearth and Hand section by Magnolia, and I really like these cutting slash serving boards. I think they'd look really pretty propped up against a backsplash and are a fun contrast to the normal wood or marble cutting boards that we're used to seeing. I also thought that this little condiment serving tray would be so perfect for the holidays. You could use it to put some desserts out in like some cookies or some cheese and crackers maybe if you're an entertainer. And I stopped in my tracks when I saw this mini tabletop olive tree. I'd seen it online but I honestly don't think I realized how good a quality it was until I saw it in person. So I totally had to scoop one of these up even though I didn't need it and I took it home with me okay so we're back home and I just kind of wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that I bought so I ended up getting this really cute little riser thing I think it's meant to you know serve food on like desserts or you know cheese or whatever but I just thought it'd be really pretty as a riser you guys this thing was only $11.99 which is such a good deal I liked how these almost looked to be kind of worn and weathered and so it looked almost like a vintage slash antique piece Piece, which I really liked. I figured I would use this over on my desk just to kind of intentionally organize some of my planters and candles and stuff like that. Something to just like raise them up off the desk and get them in like a designated decor spot, which I thought would be kind of nice. For 12 bucks, I couldn't pass it up and I just thought it was a really fun kind of pretty piece. And then obviously I showed you guys at Target how beautiful is this? We know I did not need another mini olive tree, okay? I know it, but I could not pass it up. It was such good quality. I mean, look at these leaves. I saw pictures of this online and I don't think I realized how good a quality it was until I saw it in person. The dirt looks super realistic and then the pot is a really pretty kind of you know wood tone $25 is a steal for this I got this at Pottery Barn and I'm sorry but this one almost looks prettier in my opinion um, I still really like this one but 
if you look at the leaves, I'm pretty sure like this to me looks to be better quality. I don't know, what do you guys think? I just feel like this is one of those pieces that creates a very meaningful, um, impactful look for how small it is. So um, definitely adds a punch of that rustic charm wherever you put it. I think it looks very expensive. Looks like we're in Greece or Italy or something. And then I also just picked up, you guys can see this is a little bit more of a maroon color, but it is a sweatshirt. So. Got that for our Halloween costume. And then I found this. It's actually a, like a beach cover up and it was only three bucks at Walmart. I will say, I feel like Walmart has some very unexpected good clothing items, like for great prices. This shirt is from Walmart and it was $8. So I don't know. I feel like if you look, they have some really good stuff. So I thought it was really pretty sheer, would be great for a vacation. You know, if you just had a one piece and then you could just like tie this around. So. I think it's a tie thing. Yeah, so you just like kind of wrap it around and tie it. So it's like one of those that has like a high slit. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So bought that, couldn't pass it up for three bucks. And yeah, so now I'm gonna make some lunch and then keep going on today's projects. So yeah, we will reconvene after I eat lunch. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to do today, home decor wise, to just kind of switch things up is replace these stems. And while I still really do like them, I wanted to kind of swap them out for something just a bit more realistic looking. Um, I got these for four bucks each from Hobby Lobby. They're still a really great stem and I'll probably use them somewhere else in the house. I just feel like this is such an impactful corner and I really kind of wanted to make a statement over here. So I found these really pretty, real olive stems on Etsy. It was 30 bucks for this huge bundle, which I don't know, I guess that's kind of pricey, but I figured it would just kind of add some height over here to this corner and really draw your eye over here. I love this table. I love this really cute vintage lamp that I found, and I feel like it'll just kind of put that rustic charm explanation point on this corner. So um, I'm gonna just swap them out and kind of see how they look. So let's do it. Okay, I am obsessed with this, you guys. It is so beautiful. I feel like this looks so designer and so expensive. I'm getting rid of this random scent rod because I don't know why it's there, but um, I'm, I don't know. I just love it in combination with this rustic pot. I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me and I found this at Goodwill for $10. I know, such a good deal. So um, sorry there's not a link for it because this is honestly like one of my favorite pots in the house but I just love how this looks and I'm definitely keeping it like this. And I will update you guys on how the branches fare because these aren't preserved or anything like that. I hope that they stay, you know, intact and, you know, don't get brown or anything. I'm pretty sure these dry just to be kind of very similar to this look. Um, so I know they get very fragile, you know, you don't want to like knock them all over the place, but in a spot like this, I think they should be okay. So yeah, that's done. Now let's go tackle the planter. And so that's really my little plant stand. I'm happy with how this came out. I love the location of it. It's right by the kitchen table, kind of near the kitchen. So if I need herbs for cooking, they're very close. They're really close to two light sources, which is nice. It's easy kind of out of the way, so it can be you know easy to water it back in here. So I think eventually I'll replace this with an herb, but for now I kind of like the look of the succulents. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. So 
makes it feel a little bit more like a garden over here. So the last little thing I wanted to get done was my dog's Raja costume for Halloween. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I don't know, we're kind of running out of daylight. I just kind of wanted it to be like tiger stripes. So what I'm thinking is to use painter's tape just to kind of tape out the stripes on an orange shirt. And then I'm just gonna spray paint black over it and then I'll take up the painter's tape and hopefully it'll be left with the orange stripes. So that's kind of my plan. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm ready to go get started on that. Okay, so it's actually the next day. Mike got home, we got to talking. I lost daylight and I figured it would just be best to start fresh today. So I got this little shirt for four bucks from Michaels. Um, I already had the poster board. I had black spray paint and painter's tape. So I'm just trying to do this for super duper cheap. I know it's not gonna look amazing. I'm not going for that. I'm just kind of going for getting her to look like a tiger for the lowest price tag basically. So hopefully this will all work out. I just figured um, I folded this poster board to just insert in here so the two sides of fabric won't stick together and it can just kind of divide it as I spray paint it and stuff. And then I'm just gonna cut slash tear this tape into kind of like tiger-like stripes, stick it on there, and then we're just gonna spray paint it black and hopefully it all looks good. So yeah, let's get started and see how this goes. Okay, time to see if this worked. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so that's really good, honestly. I think I'm gonna keep the edges kind of on there just when I flip it on the other side. It's a really clean line, honestly. I was kind of worried, especially about these like little pointed edges, but I feel like they came out really good. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, okay, cool. So I'm gonna just take all of this off and then do the other side and then I'm gonna put it through the washer just because I don't want her to have any like spray paint fumes on her or anything like that. That could be potentially toxic. So I'm gonna put it through the wash with nothing else in it and then we will model it with our little girl. So I'm just gonna keep on chugging along. beans I cannot with your cuteness you look just like Raja look at that some of the um, uh, spray paint did come off in the wash which is totally fine like she still looks like a tiger I feel like right beans you think you look like a tiger yeah you're gonna be so cute on Halloween you're gonna be the best Raja my little best friend we were gonna have her be a boo but she doesn't like things on her head and I feel like I, Abu was like iconic with that little hat. So anyways, she's gonna look great. I think it was worth it, right Beans? Worth all the work? You totally look like a little Raja. That's so cute. You're so cute. All right, everyone, so that really concludes today's video. I hope that you kind of enjoyed this more casual style video from me. Definitely let me know in the comments what are your favorite types of videos to see because that really does help guide me. It's honestly the best way to get feedback on what kind of stuff you guys want to see on my channel. So definitely leave me a comment if there is a certain type of video that you prefer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.